that brings us to the Gi matchup for this event. This matchup will also welcome the arrival of the first ever bantamweight matchups and the opening of a new division for us. Introducing first in the blue corner, a very familiar face on the competition scene in South Africa. He has competed internationally as well. From the commentary booth to the mat, representing Quan Vessels, please welcome Garborg Guy Lazarus. His opponent, a long-time servant of the sport in his own right. He fights out of the red corner from Johannesburg, representing Straight Blast Gym in Bedford View. Please welcome Kalinikos Sprengudis. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first ever bantamweight matchup. It's a gi matchup. Two purple belts here, guys that have been around a long time. Uh, my former co-commentator, Mr. Guy Lazarus, taking Again, his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monique's here to steal his job forever. Um, yeah, taking on Kali Nikos Frangudis, who's obviously leading the charge for SPG in Bedford View. Very interesting matchup here. Two guys very well matched. Let's see how this plays out. A little bit of gi action. I'm very excited for this one. Monique. I love a good gi match. So this is going to be interesting. Some more things to worry about. Grips. Yeah, it definitely changes things. You've got grips, you've got lapels, you've got sleeves. And the takedowns are really, really different. So we get to see them work on maybe some loop chokes, some some collar collar drags, and pull guard into sort of a hot guard, half guard position. Guy working for the top half. He's got a nice top half cross face there on that left side. Keep his elbow squat in just to avoid yeah. any of those bottom submission attempts. I mean, in terms of the bantamweight division, these are two of the best guys around. These guys have been in jiu-jitsu for a long, long, long time. Great little reversal there by Kalinikos. Sigolnik is trying to be really, really heavy on top. Yeah. I train with Guy Lazarus quite often, and um, he's really, really strong. Yeah, <laughs> force. He, he is extremely strong. And I mean, this is a guy who, who just also just loves jiu-jitsu. He lives and breathes jiu-jitsu. He wants to compete. He competes all the time. Um, he's competed all over, so yeah, a this lot is, for the sport. yeah, he is a massive custodian of jiu-jitsu. So, you know, he's, he's a lot of pressure here, guy, you know, he wants to come out, he wants to make a statement, he wants to perform, it's a matchup he had asked for, and uh, a gi is what he wanted to do it in, which is interesting. So he's been a purple belt for a year and a half now, I think, yeah. if not mistaken. He's also so the longest blue belt in South African history. <laughs> in South African history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, could really, really good control. Yeah, Guy lists his favorite choke as a collar choke. Uh, obviously, in the gi, that's what he's going to start to work with. But it seems like uh, Kali's grip strength is not causing problems, but it's definitely got Guy's attention. You can see the way he's dealing with it. It's, yeah. He's very deep in on that collar, and it's starting to cause the guy's starting to address it now. Yeah, so breaking the grips would probably be key uh, to, to look at entering some other submission attempts. Again, trying to. <laughs> Pull guard, and I see now guy would work on the close guard, um, body lock pass positions. Cross collar here from Kali. Um, need to see. It's not quite on there, but it's, it's got enough of guy's attention to address it. He's really looking at the grips. Kali says he can eat as much as he wants, but does not gain weight. Which Every is, woman's dream. Yeah, <laughs> which is probably why he's here in the bantamweight division. So you can see guy working on his Toriander passing. Yeah getting into a knee slice position at the bottom. I'd like to see him control the feet more, get into the passing. So see how the grips make such a big difference on, on the passing uh, sequences, uh, especially from the top. So this would give the bottom player way more opportunity to, to enter submissions because you, you really can get a good grip on the arm. Uh, that, that, that gives the top player a lot of things to think about. 
and I mean, you just get past the legs, and then you've got a very deep collar grip that you've got to kind of deal with and get past. So, so a very, very good pass by Guy Lazarus. So, and he's going straight to the back attempt. Again, oh, like I said, the grips the make the difference. <laughs> yeah. I must be honest, I'm, I'm very impressed by the game plan here from Kali. He stayed strong, he stuck to his strengths, and uh, really seems to be in control here, which is interesting. And this is the other side of the gi, we've got to stop and tie a belt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing with, uh, you know, gi jiu-jitsu normally works in a point system, because um, sure. it, it's a much lower game. Um, it's really, really about the passing. Um, and getting getting those points racked, but this is way more interesting. So you know they have to have to work for those submission attempts, and getting past the grips is, is probably the the number one concern. Firstly, and I mean obviously it's not the eight man, so you don't have another match to get to get into. So you can really go for broke here. Full, full, I'd like full. to see one of these guys really start to step it up. Yeah. Uh, guys got oh. Guy's got the ability to really scramble and really turn it up. I'd like to see him start doing that now. And like really start to take the pressure to Kali. It's Kali seems very calm. And Guy's got a really good wrestling base as well. Um, you know, he's been training with, with a, a really good group of MMA fighters that fought with Malaysia for a very long time, Quan Vessels. Um, so he can also bring that into his, his gi game. I'd also like to see maybe try and avoid the grip fight here a little bit. Maybe see if we can get in on the leg somewhere, get to the back maybe. Both guys seem quite adamant to get in on the grips straight up on the hand fight in, in, in the, in the stand-up positions, you know? Yeah. And in the gear, it gets very tiring. Get a good sweep maybe from here. We get, yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's the one we've been looking for. And that Little gives him top drag. position. He's got good hip control. Into the turtle now. Again, nice position in turtle. You've got extra things to hold on to. <laughs> exactly. Just see him break some break him down a bit to get yeah. get the full back position. And this is where you can slow it down. Yeah. You can really slow the game down, yeah. I mean you've got two and a half minutes to work. Oh, there we go. Great and finally there. in the back position. And yeah you can use the gi to get your get your grips and actually get finishes with the collar. You can get his collar sure. choke, the, the favorite collar yeah. choke. Great awareness there by Kali to try and start diving his hat to the mat, his head to the mat, sorry, not his hat, he's so fortunately guys not wearing it. Also using a hip lock position. Yeah. Um, if he stretches him out, he gets go. full. Maybe even securing it with a body lock. Um, so his corner calling for him to go back to the hip lock and you can see now he's kind of lost that bottom control. Working for the arm. I think he can actually pull up a good uh, armbar attempt or even get back into back position there. Nice, patient, systematic jiu-jitsu from Guy Lazarus Very at the Very well done. For taking the back again. Hip, hip lock, one of the, the blessings of the long limbs. Yeah. So, so that's definitely <laughs> the choice. We and his corner massively, massively calling for the hip lock to stay on the hip lock. Guy really be more relaxed over here, working for for the back rear naked choke. Great back control here from Guy Lazarus, and he's got a minute twelve here. He's really he's in the ascendancy. He's going to really start to look for a finish here. Okay, referee Sturge is going to pause and bring it back to the middle of the mat. And that position can even open up a good bow and arrow submission for Guy Lazarus. So. This is problematic with the gi tying. I mean, obviously, <laughs> if you're tired, it gives you an opportunity. But yeah, let's, let's, I'd like to see these guys step up the pressure on the belt tying here. <laughs> That's also. Okay, let's go, let's see it. So just to note, if even in the gi, if it goes to full time, we will go to overtime. Okay, bit of, bit of confusion. On the timer here. Let's go. We'll have to just put. Yeah, there should be a, a minute left on that clock. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to try add a minute on there. See 
see if God okay. can control the back and get back into on. a very good change that into a arm arm lock control. Need to probably just base a bit on his head to get that roll into the armbar position and get that foot into the hip. But we see a reverse Kimura attempt. Bit of confusion on the clock, so we do have 37 seconds left to go here. There was an extra minute. We didn't get a pause there for the <laughs> very slow belt tying <laughs> procedure. 30 seconds left to go. Guy Lazarus again hunting a submission here in the dying seconds. Makes air. Okay. We're going to see a gear overtime, which is going to be a bit interesting. interesting. Something <laughs> different. We've seen a lot of overtime here, very evenly matched matchups. So yeah, we'll probably see them go for the back, back uh, position. Yeah, if you're in the gi, I'm definitely going to highly recommend the back, back position. Back position, here. we've got so much <laughs> option. <laughs> definitely some collar chokes. Okay, we're going to head into two minutes over time here. Okay, deep in talk strategies here. It's all or nothing now. Two minutes. I think we'll see two finishes. It just depends who gets it. The quicker. fastest. Yeah, the fastest. Okay, so Guy Lazarus in the back position, hooks in, seat belts on. Okay, yeah, straight to the body lock for Guy Lazarus. Really going to ride the time, yeah, because yeah, that would be the key. Yeah. Okay, good seat belt positioning there. Good bottom control from Guy Lazarus with the hip lock. It seems like the hip lock is the obvious option for Guy. You mentioned the lack of long limbs. Exactly. But yeah, he's really adapted to it quite well. He's keeping a good control there. He also switch to the gi, you know, once you exactly, that's exactly what he's doing. He's switching to gi control which makes it very difficult to break those grips just talk us through their control then monique he's gone onto the lapel on the same onto side onto the lapel on the same side keeping the the body lock as we working for time yeah um, but once we you've got that collar uh on the opposite side it's <laughs> it's basically impossible to break that grip unless we've got an, a guy who's got fatigue in the arms because that's exactly what you get in, in key matches your your arms are really fatigued from the gripping um, but it seems like Guy's doing really well in this position. He's got the, he can actually go for that, that triangle if he wants to. <laughs> it's there. So um, for those at home, there. Oh. We've got. Yeah, uh, time there. I 46 think seconds. the referee might have been a bit fast. Kali had to get that left elbow to the mat. I don't think it was on the mat, but yeah. let's see. Hopefully he we still can had avoid. A control. Yeah, yeah, he did but still we have a control. Well, from up. Let's see what Guy Lazarus. Yeah, so Guy's got a minute 14 to yeah. escape here and so avoid the submission. So Kali hasn't changed to the um, geek control yet. And that's going to be to Guy's benefit. Guy's yeah. out, he's out, he's out. There we go, Guy Lazarus, you're one of ladies and gentlemen. That was a really, really good game matchup. Um, with your winner, my previous commentator, Guy Lazarus. Guy, talk us through the strategy coming in here. Obviously, it's a matchup you wanted in the gi. Uh, pros and cons, obviously, to the gi. What was the strategy coming in for this one? Um, first, just to kind of settle and then start turning it up as I go. I know I've got the gas game, the gas tank to just 
keep pushing as, uh, as the rounds go deeper and deeper. Yeah. And, uh, it, you, we were talking about it. We wanted to see you really start to turn up the heat, turn up the pressure. You did that. Was extra time ever in your mind? And when did you make that decision in the fight to say, look, we're probably going to get the extra time now. We've got to start to save some. Um, to be honest, I forgot about the time. Um, so I just kept trying to pick up my pace gradually as I was going. Then I was on the back, and then I lost control at that last second, unfortunately. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Guy Lazarus. Yeah.